you don't have to wash your hands. I have so much time to myself. Hey, walk away when I'm talking to you. My kids really respect my privacy. When this timer goes off, please turn it off and do not tell me. Thanks. Here, can you use up all my battery? Don't call me when you get there. I don't want to know where you are. It is just too quiet in this car. Okay, we're about to leave for church, so if you're going to make a huge mess, you better do it now. I don't know. Your dad usually does everything around here. All of these people are such good drivers. Eating dinner is completely optional. Hanging up your towel is completely optional. Flushing the toilet is completely optional. Okay, this time, can you smile more like a crazy lunatic? Hey, you want to dig through the fridge for the fifth time today? I'd definitely rather be here than at the beach. I am loving the look of these chips on the floor. I am loving the smell of your feet in my face. I am loving this back pain. Get a massage. Ew. No thanks. Take anything you want from my closet and don't worry about putting it back. Don't look at the camera. Look over there. If your sister takes your toy, just give her a good smack on the head. Hey, come drink that grape juice in here on the carpet. It's dinner time. Everybody come get a snack. Hey, did you know you can wear the same pair of underwear all week long? Hey friends, grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Pastor Tim Wright coming to you from Community of Grace Lutheran Church, Peoria, Arizona, and here to wish a happy Mother's Day to all of you moms, to all of you grandmas, and a happy Woman's Day for all of you women. We're here to celebrate you, uh, but mostly we're here to say thanks for the moms in our lives. And uh, we've got a lot of different definitions for moms today, of course, the moms who raised us, the moms who poured life into us, moms who taught us. And so we want to say to all of you women, we love you, we appreciate you, and here's a little something special just for you. Here's to the mothers. Here's to the boo-boo kissers. Here's to the get up and warm the milk at 2 a.m. women. You are braver than you know. You make the music that makes the life, that gives the rhythm to the day in and out and in again. Courageous. You deliver babies by C-section or adoption certificate or by push and pant and wailing battle cry of birth. You give more than you think you have. And when you're empty, when you're bone dry, you wring out one more drop, one more bottle, one more soothing the temper tantrum. Hero, you make a budget stretch. You clip coupons, you fight ketchup stains. You face the awkward parent-teacher moments. You listen, you translate for your child. You do the hard work of teaching at every turn. You find a hundred new ways to answer a hundred new versions of the question, why? Champion, you show up, you take photos, you cheer. You shuttle boys and bags of gear between sports fields and serve up ice cream afterwards. You disagree with him. You make her change her skirt, but you love fiercely from beneath those unruly bangs. You learn to laugh at your reflection. You revel in your smiley wrinkles. Real. You lose your temper. You yell and apologize and stamp your foot and prove that you are human. You cry. You venture out into an ocean of vulnerability with only a small dinghy and two short oars to keep you afloat when you become a parent. Anchor. You yield your figure, your abs, your size four jeans, but your will turns to muscle unheard of. It grows strong with determination. No one will wound these children without going through you first. You are a last harbor, a lighthouse in the storm of internet and Facebook, failed grades and peer pressure. But in the everydayness of these moments, you start to feel it. The weight of glory, the glorious ordinary. And on your quietest, least interesting days, you get better at hearing the music of motherhood. Slowly a harmony rises from the collection of tasks every mother cycles through in a day. 
the sacred marriage of the mundane and the eternal, the small directly related to the massive, kids walking around like so much eternity with skin on. There is no part of your everyday wash and rinse and repeat routine that isn't significant. You make the music that makes the life that gives the rhythm to the day in and out and in again. You are braver than you know because you mother. You are an incredible gift of God. That's what we want moms to know today. That's what we want you women to know today, that you are God's beloved daughter, and God is fully pleased with you. You may not always feel like it, but Jesus has your back. Jesus loves you. He's proud of you, and so are we. Heavenly Father, thank you for the moms, for the women who are watching today. Thank you for the impact that women have had on our lives as we've been growing up, whether it's our moms or our grandmas, sisters, aunts, teachers, coaches, co-workers. Thank you for the impact that all of these women have had on us. We're better people because of it. And today on this Mother's Day, I pray for all the moms that you would fill them with a sense of your love for them. For those of us whose moms are no longer here, that you would remind us of the special gift that they were to us and continue to be to us, and you would fill some of that gap for us. For those moms-to-be who in these next few months will experience the joy and the challenges of motherhood for the first time, give them the grace and the courage as they take each step through each part of this process and help them not miss the joy. And most of all today, Heavenly Father, we pray that each and every woman, each and every person watching today would know that you love them, that you value them, and that you are fully pleased with them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Sing it out, everybody.
Jesus. Give you praise. We bless your name, Lord. On the night which is betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread. He gave thanks. He broke it. He gave it to his disciples and said, Take and eat. This is my body broken for you. Eat this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it for all to drink and said, This is my blood. It's been poured out for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. Drink this for the remembrance of me. Let's pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for you, and for his sake, God forgives you all your sins. As a called and ordained minister of the gospel, I declare to you the entire forgiveness of all of your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As you eat the cracker, as you eat the piece of bread, this is the body of Christ given for you. And as you drink the wine or the grape juice, this is the blood of Christ shed for you. And now may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen and preserve you unto everlasting life. Peace be with you. Amen. Well, we want to thank you for joining us on this very special weekend again. We want to say a very special welcome to all the moms who are watching today, the women who are joining us. I uh, want you to know how much we love you and appreciate you. And if this is your first time joining us for worship, Thank you for joining us, and we want to send you a gift to Starbucks. You can text the word NEW to 623-295-2484. We're going to send you that uh, card, and you can go enjoy a cup of coffee on us. If you'd like to have us pray for you this week, we'd be happy to do that. Text the word PRAYER to 623-295-2484. And for all the things that are happening here at Grace Online and in-house, you can text the word EVENTS. You can also text um, to uh, that very same number if you'd like to support the mission and ministry of this church. Uh, this weekend, uh, you're doing something very, very special. In the name of all the women of grace, we are making a donation uh, to the Lutheran Social Services and specifically to their foster care ministry. And it's a way for us to support the great work that they do in helping connect foster children with homes. And so that's one of the ways that we support the community. And that happens all the time, every day of the week, through your giving. So if you'd like to text a gift in the message, type in how much you'd like to give and send that to 623-295-2484. You can hold your camera up on your phone to the QR code right here. And that will get you connected to some prompts. You fill those out and you're able to give that way. Or as always, you can go to boldrecklessgrace.org slash giving. That's boldrecklessgrace.org slash giving. And if you believe in this mission and ministry and you appreciate us being able to come to you online every week, we hope that you will prayerfully consider uh, doing something generous for the sake of the world around you. 623-295-2484. Now, next weekend, we're going to pick up a series that we've been doing since Easter, the uh, original Jesus Revolution, and this weekend, this weekend coming up, the Revolution of Peace, and we're going to look at Jesus walking on the water and how that can change your life. You can join us every Saturday night, 5 o'clock, Facebook and YouTube, and then every Sunday morning at 9 and 1030. And so now as you go, may our loving Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face smile upon you, be gracious to you, and may the Lord always turn his face toward you and give you peace in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great Mother's Day weekend. Go bold and live grace. Jesus, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done here in us. All right, lift your voices. Help me now. Jesus. There is no one greater.